system administration is the foundation of, uh, of operating systems and servers. For uh, corporations, enterprise networks, anything like that. So essentially you're the guy at the top who takes all the phone calls that are forwarded to them from the first and second level tiers. If you need to move your files across a network, well, our system administrators are involved with making sure that happens and happens securely and, and properly. The software utilized by all students in the system administration program here in DMIT uh, is quite varied. It, is, it covers everything from Microsoft, such as Windows Server 2008, SQL Server, Exchange Server, uh, Web Server. Active Directory, a lot of uh, deployments pretty much with uh, Windows 7 being the main key feature in the next uh, upcoming 10 years probably. With a little bit of a um, touch on yeah, Server 2008 R2 and a lot of these programs that are going to be implemented in the future. When it comes to the foundational structure for the network, like DHCP server and DNS servers, uh, they configure Active Directory, set it up completely. Uh, they configure Windows 7 clients and how to continually uh, update those machines, uh, all involved with security then as well. So the entire network infrastructure, all those systems uh, from Microsoft is what they work with. They also learn Linux because Linux is utilized periodically within uh, the corporate environments so they know how to mix the two. They know how to uh, run Microsoft and Linux together. During a couple of the summer breaks I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, get on a couple of the summer student positions through various companies. Um, yeah, thanks to basically the skills I got in the system admin program I was able to utilize them. They, just, they definitely were very up to date with some of the things they taught us in the classroom. Especially for the labs that they created and the projects, they were able to replicate um, scenarios from the real workplace, but also letting us really get in there and see what it's like. They use Microsoft Virtual Machine Technology and uh, Hyper-V, and they also use uh, Virtual Machine, VMware's Virtual Machine. So they can run on one computer multiple servers at once. They have a whole infrastructure set up within the lab pretty cool and, uh, and all the machines have to be able to talk to each other so it is just like a complete network configuration. One of the main reasons a lot of people went into DMIT at the beginning was because it, it's so specific but, but very general at the beginning so you can kind of take a little bit of everything you're interested in and actually use that to finish your diploma with finishing with your designation. In my uh, case I took a few of the um, project management courses as well as some of the uh, programming courses in the first and second semesters and a lot of those actually helped in the workplace kind of handle some of the projects I was given and tasks I was given in the workplace and I would have gotten that directly if I had just stuck with just the base requirements for the designation. We're very much ahead of the game in that aspect so these employers are looking for these particular skills and um, abilities that a lot of their current employees don't currently have. Us as uh, DMIT uh, system admin graduates have these skills going into the environment.